Hi, welcome back to Mahithi Dunia YouTube channel, my dear students and friends. In this video, I am going to give you very important information for the students who are currently in the second semester of VTU, whatever may be the branches. Okay, so please listen to this uh, video and audio very carefully because this is going to give you a clear information regarding uh, three subjects. And these three subjects are common for all the branches. Okay, whatever may be the branch you have taken, so you should study these three. Okay, so English you will study in both first semester and second semester. IDT, uh, that is Innovation Design Thinking, you will study in any one of the semester, either one or two. SFH, Scientific Foundation of Health, you will study in any one of the uh, first semester or second semester. And very important is, English is having two credits, IDT is having one credit, SFH is having one credit. Okay, so what is the meaning of credits are that is a, that will represent the weightage of the subject. So English is having two credits. Even the labs will be having only single credit, but English will be having two credits. For example, in the English for 100, assume that you got 80 marks. So 80 next number is considered as 9. It is multiplied by 2. So totally 9 into 2, 18 points will be considered. Okay, assume that. So here you have taken 70. So it is 8 into 2, 16 points will be considered. Assume that you have failed in the English subject. Uh, by considering uh, for 100, you got 30, it is fail. So 2 credits, 2 into 0, that is 0 will be considered. Okay, see, and while calculating the semester grade or the percentage, this English subject is considered. Okay, there is a very important point. And I have posted in the description box the link. So English key answer for the previous year examination question paper, I have explained in detail that I put it in the description box. Please go, go through it in the English uh, link for the previous year VTU examination. Second subject is IDT, which is having one credit. Okay, you are going to write uh, and English is having a MCQs. 100 questions, 100 marks. Similarly, IDT will be having 50 MCQs. Out of 50, you should score 18 to get pass. Okay. So, if you get 18, then only one credit is going to be added to your account. Suppose you get 18. So, for the internal examination, so here 50, assume that you got 18. In the internal, also it is for 50 is there. Assume that you got 18. So 18 plus 18, 36. For 100, you got 36. What is the next number of 36 in the first digit? 4. So 4 is multiplied by 1. So 1 is a credit. So 4 points is going to be added. Assume that you have not cleared in the external. You have taken, assume that you have taken some 15. So obviously this credit is going to be 0. So whatever it is, you will get 0. So IDT subject also plays a major role while calculating a semester grade points average or the percentage so this is having its own weightage you should clear IDT subject don't ignore okay and the last one is SFH scientific foundation of health it is also having one credit same 50 marks you will be having internals assume that you got some marks like 20 and in the external for 50 assume that you got some 30 so it is for 50 for 100 you got 50 Okay, the next number of 5 is 6. So, 6 into 1 is 6 points is going to be added to calculate SGPA. About these points and all, I have made separate video. How to calculate SGPA? What is the meaning of credits? What is the meaning of grade? What is the meaning of points? You go through that video, you will understand how the percentage and how the semester grade points average is going to be calculated. Overall, passing e English, clearing English subject, IDT subject and SFS SFH subject is mandatory. Don't take these subjects for granted. If you not clear these subjects, you will your SGPA is automatically going to be very low. So out of 10, so maximum SGPA is 10. So so minimum you should get 60 percentage means around 6.7 uh, for uh, 10 to get uh, uh, campus placements eligibility. Okay, so don't uh, ignore these three. For these three, uh, the previous year examination question paper with key answers, MCQs, I will post in the description box. Go through it. 
go through the description box the three links i will produce idt model question paper also i have solved and i will put that links also previous examination plus model question papers okay so here this is regarding the video and very important thing is all three examinations are mcqs okay so for english will be having two hours examination probably will be having tomorrow that is uh, september 13 so idt and sfh will be having one hour examination for two hour there is 100 marks mcqs for one hour 50 mcqs okay we'll see in the next video about the next update thank you do well very good all the best keep sharing this information because it may be needy for thousands of students okay so good luck like this i'll post a video related updates stay tuned to my youtube channel thank you